really trust Said I would stop, but I go right back to this double Hey, what's good YouTube? It's Sean Precise here, back at it with another video And this is another highly requested video So I dropped some videos, I did how to get sharp badges And I also did how to do a momentum crossover Very simple videos, and a lot of the comments were one my jump shot and two my dribble moves so we're starting off with the dribble moves i got all these best dribble moves laid out all of them i tested each and every single category i tested all the dribble moves all the ones that look good i found the best ones i found the ones that work the best as well so these are the best ones i also just want to say thank you guys so much for the love recently the channel has been doing really good with these latest videos as soon as 2k19 came out so let's keep it up and anybody who's new make sure you drop us up i appreciate it it means a lot to me so let's get right into it all right starting off with the first one you're moving crossover this is very important you're running up the court you got to do a crossover to get by your defender you're running up the full court press and you got to do a crossover you're running around the screen you got to do a crossover pro 3 is the best moving crossover by far because when you do that in between the legs when you're holding turbo it's quick as hell when you're doing that crossover it's it's the best one i tried i tested these trust me pro 3 is the best moving behind the back you want to go with either pro 5 or pro 6 i like pro 6 it's that cheesy you know like quick one and but the pro 5 when you do the momentum behind the back and the momentum spin behind the back behind the back pro 5 is kind of nice for that one that's the quick one that you see in colder man's videos sees those videos but i like that pro 6 one because the momentum behind the back i gotta do around the three-point line do a step back nice and easy so i recommend pro 6 but you can go pro 5 that is also another these are they're kind of on the same level and all your dribble moves aren't i tested both of them all right moving spins pro 4 by far the best spin you don't even have to question don't even have to question it just put that one on pro 4 moving spin on to the next one moving hesitations pro 4 moving hesitations this is one of like this is that step back this is the one I tested the most. I tested all of them. I looked through every single one of them. Pro 4 has a step back that's nice. You can do it out of any move. You can flick the stick anyway. He'll do that step back and you can shoot whenever you want. You want to do it in the middle of the step back, you can just pull up. It's so unpredictable. Especially when you're doing combos, you do a momentum and then a step back right after that. Nobody can guard that. Nobody can guard this step back. It is absolute cheese. It's an easy move to get wide open. Standing size up combos. I got Kemba Walker on. I really like it because... You can do that speed boost when you go through, like when you go in between the legs that first time, you can just go right to the left and then sprint or left to the right and just sprint. Or I also like the combo up when he does the in between the legs behind the back, just combo right out of that. I really like it because I can move with it or I can combo with it. There's also some other like elite combos that people like to use and uh, some other ones that people like the speed boost out of. I just like this one because I can combo with it and speed boost with it and I'm used to it. I also like the, uh, the elite one I'll show that has the behind the back a bunch of times that one's really good because it's hard to steal you're going behind your back a bunch of times and it's so unpredictable because it's so quick they don't know if you're going left or right because you're just doing a bunch of behind the backs all right moving size of combos i didn't look into this much at all because i really don't do moving size ups i just put trey young on because if i ever accidentally do a moving size up it's just an in between the legs crossover and i can just combo out of it easy do a momentum and get away very simple usually i run up the court and just do a momentum cross and then start my combo from there now for my size up double cross i got ty lawson on i really like this one you can just do a simple double cross and then start combo i really don't do double cross moves at all because i always just do mom i don't know i just it's not really part of my arsenal you know what i'm saying my dribble arsenal when i'm dribble guiding no, i'm just playing. but i i like ty lawson it's a nice quick one if you want to use it, go ahead and use it, but I really don't do this much. Now, sides up between the legs. Curry, the best, simple. If I'm playing park or pro and I do this curry move, it gets me wide open, easy as hell. So easy. You're around the screen, you do one move going to the left, you do that curry move going to the left, then you do a move to the right. It's OP. It's like, it's so unpredictable too. Because you do that move, it creates so much space. Same thing with the sides up behind the back, Jamal Crawford. If you use both of these together with momentum crosses and momentum behind the backs and the step back with the uh, with the moving hesitation pro four, you're gonna be unguardable at the park for sure. And that's pretty much it. Those are all my dribble moves. I highly recommend these. If you don't want to use them, you don't have to. This is just what I use to get open off screens. And a lot of people have been requesting it, so I had to do this. I had to drop this video. Once again, thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Channel's been blowing up, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been Young Precise, and I'm out. Peace.